tango. Okay, this is a dance that also travels counterclockwise around the floor. And I'll start off by showing you the, the footwork for it. You can do this with either an open brace or with a close embrace. And a close embrace is where the lead has their arm wrapped all the way around the follow to where it's actually making a connection off of the follow's root pitch. Now this dance usually is danced in fairly high heels, so the follow is generally going to be weighted forward on her feet. Even if she's here, she's forward weighted over the foot. So we're going to dance this in a uh, open embrace, and then we'll dance it once in a close in a close embrace. So the the pattern is a side step, a back step for the lead, and a slightly forward step for the follow. Another side step for the lead, angling or positioning ourselves where we can head to the outside of the floor. We're going to step into an outside parallel. We're going to keep going into that parallel, and then what we're going to do is we're going to lead this leg to cross over in front of the follow and hook in front of the other foot while we just bring our feet together. Then we're going to rotate that follow back towards us slightly, which will uncross that foot, and then we're going to step into the follow, take a side step, and then we're ready to start all over again, which was a side step, a back step, another side step, positioning yourself where you can go to the outside of the floor, an outside parallel step, another back step, a latching step for the follow, an unwind, and then a back step, and then a side step, and then you're ready to start again. This dance doesn't really have any timing to it, so you can step with quicks, you can step with slows, it doesn't really matter. So we can't really cover timing, but we will dance it to music for you. Now with a close embrace, so as a good guideline, this bone right here, the humerus bone, tries to stay parallel with the shoulders. It might come forward just slightly, but not much. In fact, what, what does come forward if you're reaching for a close embrace is the body. So the body reaches towards the lead, and then the arm just relaxes into the, the hole. So the close embrace, we have a side step, a back step, another side step, a diagonal outside parallel, a back step for the follow, a together step for the lead, a crossing step for the follow, an unwind, and then we have a back for the follow, a forward for the lead, and then a side step. So again, we have one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. So you get to accomplish all that in eight.